Hi there, I'm back with another quick flex video for you today and we're going to colour hair. I've had lots of questions asking how I get the hair to look so shiny so I thought I would um, show you on these three little angels. The colours I'm going to be using are E57, E53, E51 and E50 and then I'm going to go in afterwards with a light umber Prismacolor pencil just for the final shading. I'm not going to use very much of the E57 um, all I'm basically going to do with this is put a little bit of um, shadows in with it so I'll start at the closest to her face because that would have a bit of shadow in the bottom of her hair Just add the tiniest little bit. I know it looks a lot more in the video, but in real life I'm not adding that much. I'm going to add it to her parting. Just to add a tiny bit of definition there. I can always go back in and add more. At the end of her fringe. I've just realised I said we were going to be colouring brown hair. We're not. We're actually going to be colouring dark blonde hair. Sorry about that. Getting myself carried away here. Working ahead of myself. Right, I'm going in with the E53 and I'm going to go over the colour I've just laid down, which was the E57, and drag it in a little bit further. To get the shiny effect, you do need to leave white so that you've got contrast. So don't drag the colour too far up and as you can see I'm just using a flicking motion to pull some of that E57 up and lay down a little bit of this E53 and then I'll go in with the E51 and again I'm going to go over what I've done flicking bringing the colour down And then I'll go in with the 50. And if it's too dark, I'll just go over it, over the E57 with the E50, and it does lighten it a bit. But to get this contrast here, you do need to, to get that contrast there, you do need to have a darker colour to be able to show up the lighter colour. And even if it looks a bit patchy when I go in with a pencil, it tidies that up as well and evens out the blending. Right, I'll go on to the next little one. And again, I'm going to lay the colour down. I'm going to do them all with the same hair. I was going to be fancy and use different um, colours, but I thought I'll just stick to the one for now and I can always do another video with other hair colours later. So I'm adding the E57 here because this part of her hair will be in shadow from the little angel in the front. So just a little bit there. And again that side of her head is also slightly in shadow. E53. So this is more of a dark brown, a, a dark uh, blonde rather than the very pale washed out blonde. And again, I'm going to leave white so that I've got the bit of the shine. That's going to be shiny there because the head's tilted to the side. 
Um, I think I'm going to have to lay down a bit more darker colour on the side I'm working on now because the head's tilted at an angle that's going to be in a, to have a wee bit more uh, shading on it. Right, E51. And again, I'm just flicking the colour up, pulling it down. If you don't want such a high contrast, um, you can leave out the E57. Right, and now I'm going in with the E50. And I'm not covering up all the white, I'm going to leave a little bit there, so I've got a tiny bit of contrast. And just blend it out with the E50. And then the last angel, E57 again. If you find it easier, you can actually turn the image around to flick um, if you find it easier to work away from you. It's just whatever works for you, really. E53 now and basically go over what I've done and still with the flicking strokes just carry some of that drag some of that colour down and up As you can see, I'm working over, still working over what I've already laid down. And E50. And then if you if you felt it was necessary you could go in with the with the Prismacolor pencil. So I'm going to start less is more. I won't put too much on. So I'm going to basically just lay it down in strokes where I put my E57 initially. Just to add a little bit more definition. Also helps if you missed any little spots as well. The pencils will help to fill that in for you too. So more of a dark blonde than a a baby blonde, I would say. And now I'm going to go in with a. a, a a sharp, um, a pointy blending stump and some um, odorless minerals, spirits or gum cell or whatever it is you use and um, I'm really only just wetting the tip. I've got the most amazing gift that I got from a lovely friend and it's a, I'll have to zoom this out, it's going to wobble I'm sorry. 
it's a, a bottle that she bought me for my new craft from Blessa. Um, the lid lifts up and there's a like a pump inside there and when you push your um, I don't want to splash out when you push your blending stump in it actually pushes the solvent up and wets your normally it doesn't splash but today of course it would wouldn't it and wet your blending stump without over wetting it it's brilliant thank you Jackie right so I'm going to zoom back in again hadn't I sorry if this is wobbling but it's on a quite a long arm okay okay that's better so I'm just gonna still flicking just flick the color up don't over wet the stump and pull the color down so that's all I'm doing with the pencil is I'm pushing and pulling the color pushing it from the dark into the light and then pulling it back down in the opposite direction as well Um, does help if you feel you've gone in with too much pencil you can't fix it a hundred percent but you actually can remove um, some of it if you feel it's too dark and all I do is I have a one of these plastic rubbers erasers one of these soft plastic ones and if you just rub on the colour if you want to bring back some of the highlight you can see you pick up a little bit on the end of the rubber um, and it takes it off without removing too much and brings the highlight back and there you go three little angels with dirty blonde hair <laughs> 